What's up guys? Welcome back. This is Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And we're going for a test drive today in a 1974 Dodge Dart Sport. Yes, it has the duster stickers. It's cloned into a duster. This one does have the 360. This was originally a 318 car. This 360 is a built motor with aluminum heads. It's gonna be a great ride. We actually checked the motor out for you. That way we know for sure it was a 360. You can see they've added a lot to this car, so this should be a fun test drive. Check us out, maplemotors.com. I have financing and shipping available. I also have close to 100 detailed pictures of this ride and every car on the car lot. We also have a lot of gear here on YouTube. Go to the store, check out the shirts, check out the mugs, get you some gear from Maple Motors. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Getting ready to take off here. Place your bets. You think the horn works? It's a little game we like to play on the channel. It's a Grant steering wheel on this one. Aftermarket gauges under the dash. We're gonna be checking everything out on this ride. Carpet looks pretty good too. Along with that back seat. Headliner is sagging everywhere. So that's gonna need to be redone. Let's start her up. And no, I haven't let it sit here and warm up or anything like that. This is, I backed it out of the spot and uh, parked it right here. It ran about 30 minutes ago. It started right up. I'm gonna need some gas now. So we'll be going to the gas station getting some fuel for this one let's try the heat it's blowing radio oh we're jamming that's right wipers we're wiping <laughs> reverse manual valve body and horn ah oh, i could have i could have bet that that one would work you know, a lot I've noticed these Grant steering wheels, it seems like none of the horns work on them. I'm gonna let her warm up a little bit more. We'll take off down the road, see how she runs and drives. All right, so anything I notice, I will let you know. That's why I make these videos. This should be a pretty fun one. I heard it was a uh, hot car, so should light the tires up a little bit in this test drive with no problems. Reverse manual valve body means you slap her back. On that last one though, you'll have to go over and come down. All right, that's how it is. Fill the click in, it feels pretty good. Got you set up there. Let's see how she runs a drive. Not too bad, it got up. It took off. She's a little bit peppy. You feel them uh, aluminum heads coming into play there. You got a long first gear there. It's not as low as I thought it was gonna be. We're gonna try it out one more time. Sometimes they'll tell me it's reverse manual valve body and it won't be. Let's see if uh, what the bottom gear does. It's definitely reverse manual valve body. That's third there try it again pretty good getting on the brakes now brakes feel awesome this car is pulling to the left you see how it's doing that to me it's been doing it to me since we left the lot but as far as steering pretty tight speedometers bouncing all over the place that cable's bad. You got a tack on the dash that is working. 
It's not a crazy low first gear. This car's definitely got a lot of gear in it. It's not real low or anything. If you put a low gear in here, it'd blow the tires off of you. You can definitely feel that. That's what I was expecting and that's not what I got, so. I like the way this is set up. You really get some good speed out of it. Turn signals are popping up on the dash on left and right side. We're pulling in here to get some fuel because we need it. But right now we're below a quarter tank. We're gonna put some about $20 worth of fuel in this. And uh, we'll keep her going for you. There we are. Who makes this shifter here? This is turbo action. SCS. I don't see too many of these, but I kind of like that one. It feels solid. Engine temperature is up. It is working. Oil pressure's around 30. Let's get some fuel. All right, we got $20 worth of fuel in this ride. I'll show you where I put it in and I'll show you the gas gauge. We'll see if it works, start it up and uh, continue this ride. What we're gonna do after this video is some undercarriage shots, some outside drive-bys, overheads, and more test drive. All right, so hopping off in the car here. I did take the keys out, so what did I do with them here? Yep, those aren't it. Where did I put them? In my back pocket. All right, let's try this again. Jumping off in the seat, you use the triangle key here. Your gas gauge is there. It was below quarter tank. Just turning the ignition, gas gauge is working. Starts up good. And of course you put the gas in right there on the driver's rear. Let's hit the road.
the sound of this car so much, I'm making another muscle car therapy with it. I know it's not a 440, but man, this thing sounds good. So what we're gonna do now is uh, head on back to the lot. Engine temperature's great. She's just running great, running smooth. Let's go ahead and take the long route. Even though it's reverse manual valve body, it's very easy to drive. If you're asking about the arm, I got in a wreck uh, last weekend on a RZR. I let a buddy drive my RZR and he flipped it on me, so isn't that wonderful? I'd have probably been alright if I wore my seatbelt. Speaking of that, look at me. Messing up. Alright. This one's nice and smooth. Fits some pretty bumpy stuff like this. I'd have to give it an eight out of 10 on suspension. It's very smooth. Feels better than most cars. I was hearing the siren. It's coming from over here. Our air quality is really bad after all these clouds have been coming in today. It's 108. I guess that's not too bad. But they're warning people with asthma not to come outside and all that. So. It's all them forest fires.
this one runs to drive, it's good. You come out test drive it, you're gonna love it. Doesn't get much better in this one other than a, a bigger motor, but this thing's got plenty of power. No need to have a big motor where you can build the 360. I mean, she sets you back in the seat, that's for sure. Feels great. parking lot and do a walk around we're gonna point out chips scratches flaws anything wrong with the outside of the car also pop the trunk look under the hood and check the interior out we do this with every car so you know exactly what you're getting but hey look there's reverse I think I didn't put my tag back on I thought for sure we were gonna get pulled over got behind me like it was going to and I just pulled in here so we're good to go all right Don't forget to hit subscribe, share this video, and hit like. Let's pick out the flaws now. We're back up here at the lot. We're gonna walk around this car, point out chips, scratches, flaws, any rust, tell you everything I know about it. We'll have us a little fun. Don't forget, check out the detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. Also, get our finance options and shipping options. They're all there on the website. Let's get started up here in the front. Coming around the front end, nice chrome bumper on this one. Grill's in great shape. We're gonna go down this lower portion first. So you got some cracking going on right there in the bumper. Coming down the fender, good tires on the front. American welds coming up over the rent, the uh, fender wells here. You got a little scratch there. On down couple of road chips there's a bubble right there at the bottom there's also a bubble right there in the door a little touch up mark a couple little spots here in the back you got a couple bubbles popping up as well there's a chip right there good tires on this one lots of tread and lots of tread on the ground too it's a good amount went on down you got some bubbles in the back here too Right there at the very bottom. Coming back to midsection, you look on top of the paint, a little bit of that chemical peel popping up. It's like a silicone or, or a paint prep or the mixture of the paint would cause that. You can see it, it's down the side here. It's not perfect, but man, this car is pretty. I didn't even notice that stuff till now. <laughs> You got a little bit of scratches going on in your door handle. A little bit more of that stuff, that chemical peel I was telling you about. You got a chip right here on top. You got some touch up marks on the inner part there. A couple little of those bubbles popping up. There's a chip right here in the jam. A little side of the hood. Mirror on this one's in good shape. Weather strip in there. A little bit eat up. Little oxidation popping up around the back there. Uh, weather stripping looks good around the trunk jam. You can tell where they've touched up the paint on the inside here of the jam. Trunk lid looks good. In great shape. Got a battery tray in there. It looks like they just strapped the battery tray down. They definitely moved it from under the hood, so. 
the trunk is looking pretty good. A little bit of surface rust popping up there, nothing major. Got your spare tire. <coughs> Let's come on down with this trunk lid here. Keys in the ignition. Yep. Got some discoloration on the wing. Got a couple lines in the paint job, or in the uh, stripes in the back. The keyhole does work, but that needs to be replaced. It's kind of sunken in. Back bumper's in good shape. Dual exhaust. Now we're going to come down this side. We're going to go down the lower portions, back midsection, up the top, just like we did. A couple little spots popping up on the back here. Chipping the paint. There's a scratch right there. Light scuff up here, that'll come out. Those little bubbles under the paint there. Like I said, it's like some silicone or a bad mixture of paint. Chip. Oxidation. Scratching your stripe. Touch up mark here. You can see it coming down this fender. Look at it. It says little bubbles. Mirror's in good shape. Seal around the front windshield's in good shape. A couple of them bubbles, chips. There's a chip there as well. In there. Okay, made it around this ride. We're gonna go ahead and check the interior out, get her started up. And we'll shut the hood, see how it lines up. Check everything out. Opening up the door here. Hey, penny on heads. I'll take it, good luck. Door panel's in good shape. Couple little scratches from where the window crank. Weather stripping looks decent. Nice and soft. Down the bottom of the door. A couple dings right there. You can see where they've touched up the door jam trying to get it blue. Carpet in this one has been replaced. Same with that dash pad. The seat is showing signs of wear on the side there and right here. Headliner in this one needs to be replaced or, or pinned up, glued up. It's hanging down there. Of course, I think this car runs awesome, especially from the test drive.
hood's got some shadow marks on the scoop. Light scratch right here. chip there on the edge of the hood. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit subscribe, share, and hit like. That helps me out quite a bit. And of course, without your help, I wouldn't be doing these videos. I want to thank y'all for watching. Also, check out the gear that we put out. We got shirts. We got cups, mugs, stickers, everything. I sat down and tried to get it all designed out for you. Did our first run. We're going to come up with a different design. I got some girls working for me now uh, that are artists. And man, they're good. Really good at cartoon muscle cars. I love it. So we'll have some fun, make some cool uh, shirts, gear, cups. Well, let's see. The one-handed bandit's not doing good today. <laughs> there we go. Again, I appreciate you watching. I'm going to go ahead and grab me another ride. I've got plenty to do for this week. And y'all have a good one. Later, guys.